Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys this awesome product that I found from Artbin. I'll have it linked down below. Amazon has them. They're about $13 a piece. They're going to hold 12 rolls of vinyl. But what's really cool about this compared to others is these circles are huge. So if you buy the vinyl like I do where it's like the sampler packs, those are much bigger than regular vinyl. Those are going to fit in there. So it looks like those are going to fit well. As well as if you purchase um, your iron-on or vinyl in bulk, look at how big this is. They're really big compared to regular. I think those are going to fit. Now when it comes to the regular size, you can see how much wiggle room we're going to have. We're going to have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm really excited about these. So if you guys follow me, you guys know I've been working on my she shed. I'm working on organization. I haven't showed you guys anything yet. But this is one of the things. Alex units, that's how I'm going to be storing my flat mile. But for my rolls, I needed something. And um, I'm super excited about this. So let's go ahead and check it out together. Like I said, these are about $12 to $13 um, each. So, and let's see real quick. So stores up to 12 rolls. Easy snap assembly. And Includes fasteners for wall mounting. I was trying to see if it said the size, the dimensions on here. It may say in the back. We'll see. So let me go ahead and open this up. Get this out of here. All right. So it looks like it's going to come with some easy instructions here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's going to really come with some easy instructions. Let's get everything kind of out of the way a little bit so that way we can work with this. All right. So you're going to get your top and then your bottom. And then you're going to get one of each side. So it looks like you're going to lay it open. So you can obviously tell this is the, going to be your outsides and then your inside pieces you can kind of see. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it like this as they are showing in the picture. Sorry, I vinyl everywhere this morning. All right. So we're going to lay it out like this. All right. So it's showing to snap those together like they kind of go under and over. So just like that. Oh wow, this is really easy. So then it looks like this is going to come up like so. So there's that, and then I guess these are just going to pop on. So let's see if we can't get one. Do they both stay the same? Yes. So I'm going to kind of bring it up here so you guys can hopefully see. And it looks like this should just pop right on. All right, so just like that, and you can see there's it completely snaps on there, so let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, so there we have it. So that's what it looks like. So it seems pretty sturdy to me. Looks good. All right, let me go ahead and put the other one together. Each one comes with a package of screws for the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and set those out of our way. So what I'm going to do, now that we've got both of these put together, the plastic seems really sturdy. I'm super excited about it. You can see in there, like these, this is where we're going to put it on the wall. Let's go ahead and start putting some vinyl in here and just kind of see how it works. All right, so here we go. So now when organizing, maybe you want one just completely for your iron-on and then one completely for your vinyl. So that's what I'm going to kind of do is do one for iron-on, one for vinyl. So here's some strong bond. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you like with the, um, like this is the bundle packs. So I want to show you the difference doing like if you did like a bundle pack with several, those are going to fit in there very well. So maybe I want to do my thicker ones at the bottom. So this is that bulk. You can see how big that is, how big the bulk, and that fit in there really good. So just going to slide right in, and then we'll do some pattern. So I'll get both my patterns. Maybe I want to do like those together. And then, oh, here's another bulk actually. So I'm going to do my two rolls of bulk at the bottom. So I can do two bulks. I got two patterns. Maybe I'm going to do some glitter here. And these are the new, which I'm going to be doing a video on. This is that new um, iron on mesh. This is the glitter. And then, and then here's the regular mesh. That's what we got so far. And then say we do some fluorescent. So just however you want to organize these. Now I'm going to order some more. I only got two just to kind of test it out. But I'm going to order more so that way I can have all my rolls. My specialties on one. My glitters on one. Um, you know, just my plain iron on like that. Just like so. So now I'm just kind of sticking it on there. But you can kind of see how that's going to kind of work. One thing that I'm noticing right away, so it's it's holding the weight very well, 
um, I'm noticing that you're able to very easily move these. It's not holding them super tight because I don't like those. And even if you had these off of the roll, go ahead and try one that's off the roll. So this one's not on its roll anymore. It's just kind of there. So you know if you let it go, it's going to kind of do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it back up. What I like to do to wind these back up, is, so I grab a corner on the inside and then I just kind of twist like this to get it rolled back up just like that. So let's try it if it was unrolled. Because once I let go of this, it's going to kind of poof back. So you can see that we can still freely move that about. So that's awesome. So I really like that. Um, so I'm going to pull that back out, put this one back. And then I'm going to have my husband come hang these up for us on the wall and we'll check it out. But look at that. Isn't that really cool? All right, so let me go ahead and load the other one up really quick and I'll have the hubby come hang them on the wall. So each one holds 12 rolls of vinyl. So this is 24 rolls of vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and order a few more of these. And I do like the price on them. I think that $12 to $13 is very affordable for something like this to hold 12 rolls for us. And the fact that they're not holding them super tight. So let me get the husband and we'll be right back. Super easy to hang. And you can see all that weight. And I mean, there is no issue with this at all holding it up. Okay. So my husband got these all hung up for me. Now, one thing I want to note is he hung these going from side to side, not from here to here, but from side, from the side to the side. He hung those 25 inches apart because you want to make sure, so say I want to, I'm trying to see how I can, I'm trying to record this by myself. So say I need to pull out one of these vinyls here, right? I need to be able to pull it out without hitting another one or having to move one out of the way. Hold on, let me try to get one from behind trying to figure out a way to hold this. All right, so say I need this one from back behind. I need to be able to pull this straight out and pull it down. See how that just kind of goes right in between? And it's even enough so if you leave your tabs on like this, it's not gonna bump anything like that either. So these ones right here will tuck in, but like these are hard. Now a lot of us are probably just gonna leave those off. I love Cricut's new um, packaging because of that. So you can like, roll these back up and store them. And I'll talk about that very soon. I've got a bunch of videos I'm going to do on completely talking about how their vinyl works. They are holding up quite well. I mean, that's quite a bit of weight on there. So there's no issues at all. And what I like with this gap too, you can kind of be able to, when you turn from this way or this way, you can see all the colors that are on there, but you can see how much of a gap that has. This is a regular size. And then this is the bulk. You can see how much so I can still move how much room it still has. So I'm really, really excited about these. And definitely whenever you get like the bulk, because like these have several here, um, you can see how much those are gonna move. Specialty, you can hang your uh, transfer tapes in there, all that kind of stuff. So you can have these for, you know, like I said, so this is all regular vinyl, and then this is all iron on. You can do it however you want to. The way that I'm gonna do this is maybe putting two more right here. So that way um, I can have another one here and another one there. I wouldn't want to do too many side by side because like I said, as much as you're going to have to space them out. So that's something to keep in mind. You're going to want to kind of work from up to down whenever you're doing these. So maybe put one here and then one here. You just want to make sure that you're going to be able to reach it or, you know, like maybe two on this wall, two on another wall, however you want to do that. But really, you can't get them too super close without bumping them because if you bring this in any further, so like I said, so you're going to pull this out, you can see how much. I could actually bring it in just a hair, but I don't want to be sitting there fussing with those. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But as for affordability, I definitely think they're affordable. I think they're a great product, easy to set up, easy to use. Um, so I'm really excited about it. hope you guys check these out. I've got them down in the link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.